Hey guys, wanted to do a quick video regarding using your thumb on the fretboard. Now, a lot of guys will tell you, and I'm sure I'm gonna get some comments in, in the comment section talking, no, never use your thumb, don't ever use your thumb. And you know what? Yeah, never use your thumb. But rules can be broken sometimes, especially in music. And that's one of the cool things about music is you can always break a rule and it's always all right. Uh, so here's what's happening. So I'm learning how to play this song. Um, by Stone Temple Pilots called Sour Girl. I'm getting into the verse part and we get some really crazy chords going on here. So the first chord is like this cool uh, D chord, this D add nine chord here. And then we get to this chord here, which when I watched Dean play it, it was pretty ridiculous. Like he's playing this thing and it sounds nice. It's a nice sounding chord. And, but look at what I got to do with my hand to get to this chord, right? Like if I'm going to play it with proper guitar technique, okay? So I'm kind of being funny here because, uh, you know, some guys take this thing so seriously with proper guitar technique. And I go, you know what? Proper guitar technique can get thrown out the window if it's going to slow you down from being able to do what you want to do. Yeah, you should always try to play guitar correctly, but every once in a while, if you're gonna do something a little different just to make things easier for you or make something a little bit faster to get down, uh, why not? Take advantage of it, you know? It's, uh, it's just like a little guitar hack. So what I'm doing here is going from this chord to this chord, uh, I find, look at how long it takes me. It, it's, I don't have time for that, right? And seriously, like, I mean, I could sit here and practice doing this chord and grabbing it, you know, and this is actually a technique that I do with my students when we're learning chords that they're having a hard time with. I'll grab the chord, let it go. Grab it, let it go. And this helps make that easier. But you know what? I don't want to spend the time doing that and I have a much easier way to do it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the D shape here on my fifth fret and then I just use my thumb to fret the, the uh, B flat on the sixth fret of the E, and it's gonna mute the A string for me. So I'm basically just playing a D chord with a B flat on top, and I still have that B flat major seven chord. So we have. And boom, I got the song down. And the rest of the part, the rest of the chords are easy. They're just, they're just bar chords. So we get to this, and then we get to this chord. But if, forget it. It would take me like a long time to really be able to get that part down. And I don't want to spend all this time trying to get that chord down just for that one part in the song. And I can get it down real quick just by using my thumb. So sometimes it's okay to break the rules. And when you run into that kind of problem or that kind of situation, go ahead, break the rules every now and then. Because the only thing that really matters is, are you playing what you want to play? Because if you are, then that's the right thing to do. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit like if you like this, and go ahead and make a comment below uh, letting me know your thoughts on this video.